Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning and today we are looking at a fan coil in an attic that we installed. We took out a gas furnace and we installed a fan coil with a heat pump condenser outside. So please like this video and subscribe to our page. I'm going to go through this system and kind of show you what we did and and go through all the features and benefits, some dimensions, and talk about this so you get a better understanding of what it takes to go from a gas furnace to a fan coil with a heat pump condenser outside to do your heating and cooling. That's all electric as opposed to using gas for your heating and electric for your cooling. So to get right into it, um, there was a furnace up here. Um, on this job, we redid all the ductwork up in the attic here, so it's all new, so it's it's going to be better insulated. It's going to be better sealed. Um, this unit right here in the middle is the carrier fan coil that we put in. This is a variable speed fan coil. Now it measures 54 inches long by 22 wide. So a lot of people, um, you know, that want to change out their gas furnace for a fan coil, we got to make sure it fits where it's going. This one's in an attic, so we do have a lot of space up here. Um, it's got to fit up through the access and it's got to be able to sit horizontal on the end over here this is our return plenum where we have a return duct coming from right there which is in the ceiling down there we have another return duct that runs all the way across the attic to the other side of the upstairs uh, uh, of this house so this system just does the upstairs they have another system for the downstairs uh, which we're going to be doing next week and i'll make a video of that that system's in a garage so that's a that's a good video to watch it's upcoming i would say i'll be posting that next tuesday um on this side of the unit over here we have the supply plenum so this is where the supply ducts come off those are what put the air into the rooms and you can see we ran all new ducts, we insulated all the TYs, we put balancing dampers in them. They're all upsized compared to what they used to be. Um, the, the customer does have a couple zone dampers on this for a certain room that will open and close when you'd like. It's a theater room over a garage that's really hot, so we zoned that room. Um, the other things that you have to do on a fan coil is we have to do a drain on this. So it sits on two stands. We have a primary and a secondary drain line. The primary is going to run out that way, goes down to a bathroom drain. The secondary right here will run over a window. And then we have a third fail safe, which is the condensate pan, which runs the length of this fan coil. And then on the end right there, we put a kill switch. So if any water hits that pan, it will kill the system. Um, the other thing about this particular fan coil, it is the Carrier Infinity FE4 ANF 005 L00, which is the four ton fan coil matched with a four ton heat pump condenser outside. Now, the, the fan coil itself has a blower motor in it that moves the air through a coil. Outside is what's producing the heating and the cooling element of this system. This is pushing the air. So um, the other thing we had to do on this is you can see this disconnect switch right there. So that is the dedicated 220 circuit from the main panel. And you can see this cord right here. That's what is ran off the main panel. So um, we were able to come off the main panel into the garage, up into the attic uh, through the flu vent chase. And that is two number 14 wires that are hot or black and then we have a ground wire we run with that so it's a 220 circuit it takes a 15 amp two pole breaker um, the other thing about this system because it's a variable speed infinity you must match that with the carrier infinity control thermostat so they opted to go with the white one that will give you the full range of functionality with this fan coil so this one um, is matched outside like i said with the four ton 25 vna 8 uh, 48 a 003 so that fan coil is five speed so low low medium 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 high and high speed so it'll go in between speeds on heating and cooling depending on what type of temperature and humidity is inside and outside the house and what settings you put it at um, so there's a lot of great features about going with a heat pump system if you're looking to get away from gas now this is a very high efficiency system. So compared to running a heater with gas to heat your house and an AC that's maybe 30 years old, this will be a more efficient system. Your electric bill uh, will show up as probably a little less a year uh, than the AC It's in total. And your heating, you know, right now gas is really high. So 
on heating your you will have an electricity bill for heating but because it's a variable speed and very very high efficiency it's actually very economical in that sense this customer is also installing solar so it made sense to go with the fan coil and heat pump system so as always uh if you have any questions please leave a comment below um and then i'll try to answer those as quick as possible i know there's a lot of questions about rebates on these units um these units do get rebates from carrier the carrier cool cash rebate just started so it's a thousand fifty dollars on this system which is an instant rebate there is a tax credit a federal tax credit of up to thirty two hundred dollars based on your income and then we're waiting on the state rebates uh, we haven't got any details yet um, I will talk about those in other videos as soon as I hear about them. Um, please like this uh, video, subscribe to my page for more information. I will be posting a video on the outside condense, the heat pump condensers coming up and also the garage installation. I'll go over some electrical stuff that we did on that to show you what's going on there. Uh, thank you very much.